back the VOR, please. We've got we're in a strong wind, so you need to track a little bit more just to compensate. Zero five zero, uh, sorry, zero seven zero will do. No more than that. Roger, zero seven zero. And then watch the deviation indicator. Okay, adjust your heading to 230. So, uh, correction, adjust your heading to 050 and just watch. Yeah, which is in line with the needle and just watch. Just watch the deviation indicator and see what it does depending on what the wind conditions are. It will start to drift one way or another, then you'll know what you need to do to compensate. So, just watch it carefully. My guess is it's going to drift to the right, which means we've been blown to the left. Which means to stay on course, you're going to need a heading of 060 instead of a heading, you see, it started to drift. See that movement to the right? Affirmative. Okay, compensate now, heading of 060, and that should be enough for you to stay on course. Roger, 060. Another reason for the sensitivity, obviously, is as we get closer to the VOR, the needle gets very sensitive. So don't chase it. Just stay on the heading of 060 until you fly through the needle. Sorry, until you fly through the VOR. Once you're on the other side and you've set your 050 radial outbound, then you can start to track the VOR. Okay, Roger. And uh, please confirm that when we're tracking from a VOR, we use the reciprocal. Is that correct? We use the what? The reciprocal. Reciprocal, yeah, the outbound. If you imagine a VOR as a piece of pie, or, or as a circle, you always want to follow the line that's leading from it, outbound. Okay, Roger. So when you're, even when you're coming towards the VOR, you're following the line that's coming from it. That's why we flew the 230 radial to it. That's the correct way to track a VOR, and it minimizes the errors. Okay, you pass through the VOR now at uh, 050. Set call 050 and then track the VOR. Picking up some moderate turbulence up here as well. Okay, change your course to 050 and then track it. 050. A5. Here's a little trick for you. Leave your heading on 050, you'll come on course because we are being blown to the left anyway. So just leave your heading where it is and it will naturally come on course and then you'll need to compensate on the 060 heading. But don't chase the needle, I'm going to go back on frequency now. There is offline, but uh, SoCal approaches on line on 124.5. Your radar services are terminated, frequency change approved. Have a good day. Alaska 512 over to Unicom. Sorry about the uh, pop up at 190. Thanks for your help. You have a nice day. No problem, take care. Okay, Minden hasn't actually got any nav instruments, or sorry, any nav beacons, no NDB, no VOR. So we're looking for a visual reference. American 85 heavy after seats, descend maintain 6000. We know the field is just to the uh, east of Lake Tahoe.
and Carson, uh, Carson to the north of it as well. Roger, that's gone. Looking at the current winds, I'm going to take the northerly runway. What I want you to do is position into the circuit for me on the downwind, and then I'll take control and downwind in the circuit to land. Roger, that's copied. Position downwind runway and to the north runway. Give me another thousand feet on altitude, please. Roger, that's copied. Oakland, uh, King Air 7, 3X Rareco, out of 12.5 for 13.5. King Air 3X Ray Echo, Rochester, and uh, I'm going to be shutting down pretty soon now, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel your radar service. 